Babo seta baba. Ela babo ko se la 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 babo seta baba. Visito lo ko se la babo seta baba. Ela babo ko se la babo seta. Ela babo se la babo sha hona go fire. Ela baboko se la babo se ta baba. Ela baboko se la babo se ta baba baba. Ela baboko se la babo se ta baba. Fire of God. Ela babo se la babo sha. Come on, Jacob. I love it, man. And this fire, early morning fire. Ela babo se la baboko se la babo se. Early morning fire. Mark Jordan in the fire. In Periscope. Share this. Share this Wednesday morning fire. Share it, Sister Sheila Davis. Share this fire. Holy Ghost fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on up in here, y'all. In Jesus' name. Sister Stella Young. Good morning. <laughs> fire, Sister Stella. El I'm going to send a special fire for you. For you and your sister, okay? El Ababoka, for you and Sister Sherry. El Ababoka, Sheila Babo, Sheila Baba Baba. El Ababoka, Sheila Babo, Sheila Babo, Sheila Babo, Sheila Babo, In the name of Jesus, come on with this fire. Holy Ghost fire. This is the fire from heaven. This is God's fire. Nicole Humphreys. Shout it out, fire of God on Facebook. Fire of God. Come on, Andy Tay Periscope. Fire of God. Fire of God is real. We're in that fire. We're in that fire. It's midweek. It's midweek. Let's do some damage to the enemy in midweek. How about we do some damage today? I like to destroy the works of the enemy. I like to root them out in Jesus name I like to bind them with the cross <laughs> I like to plead the blood of Christ the blood of Jesus against them I like to command them I like to rebuke the enemy in Jesus name I like to pull them down in Jesus name and I show enough love calling down the fire of God to consume them in Jesus name Come on, Sarah Francis Harvey. Come on, Nefertun. We're in the fire of God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I said I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. That Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in your bones. Gotta come out. Gotta come out. You know it. Holy Ghost. Come on, get ready. We get ready to roll. We're getting ready to roll with that Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here we go. I'm ready right now. Let's go. Now, prayer warriors. Here we go. I'm going to tell you what I want to send fire for. We need this. It's all around the country. And there's an issue. There is a problem. And wherever there's a problem, Satan is there. Even when people don't mean to do it. If it go wrong, Satan was there. If they didn't have any malice and it went wrong, Satan was there. So wherever it goes wrong, oh, Evans May Island from Garrisburg, North Carolina. Hallelujah. Our North Carolina preacher with us on Facebook. My God, my God. Brother William. And Evangelist May Island, Garrisburg, North Carolina, from First Baptist of Weldon in the house. I love it. First Baptist of Weldon. Now, here's the problem. But first, I'm going to give you this. I want to give you the word of God in Acts, the second chapter, beginning with verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, <laughs> we're in that suddenly right now. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven 
as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. Fill the house, Lord. Fill our houses right now with that, with that sound like a rushing mighty wind. And they appeared unto them, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. Woo! And it sat upon each of them. Set those cloven tongues on each of us right now, Lord God. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You're filled with the Holy Ghost. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, here's what I want to deal with right now. There's an issue in the United States of America right now. Um, and they were dealing with it just this morning on television. And the name of it was, was they were dealing with, with bad police officers. Bad police officers. I'm not talking about um, I'm not talking about a black white thing. I'm talking about bad police officers for anybody. And we have to weed out the bad police officers before they taint good officers. Because some good officers start out good, they get tainted because they're with a bad police officer. It's like anybody else. You got a good child. And a kid go to school and the kid is nice and got good grades, but pick up with the wrong people, that kid is going to get tainted and some things are going to change. So the same thing with police officers. A bad police officer can, can taint a good police officer. You got police officers that are over aggressive. Over aggressive. Now why did all this come about? This is why it came about. In Hay Market, Hay Market, Virginia. That's the town. A 15-year-old boy took up a crowbar in his hand just the other day. And he taped something to his chest. And he was holding his own mama hostage. Mental. Holding his own mama hostage. And he called the police. Told the police that he had a bomb strapped to his chest, but he did not. He had nothing strapped. And he said, send the police. I'm holding my mama hostage and send the police to kill me. I want the police to kill me. 15 years old, 15 year old boy. I want the police to kill me. So the police came and he came outside on the porch holding his crowbar. With his little thing on there that he already told them he got a bomb strapped to him. So they told him to put the crowbar down. And of course he's not going to put it down because Satan's not going to let him put it down. Satan is in his mind. He's not going to put it down. And he didn't. I order you, they took out their guns. They got guns pointed at a 15-year-old in front of his own house and tell him to put the gun down. And he's not putting it down. Well, he took a couple steps towards the police officer. And, they and one cop shot him and killed him. Come on, Arthur Ray Hawkins from Ronan Rapids, North Carolina. Ronan Rapids, Yellow Jackets. Come on, baller. <laughs> Come on, Arthur Ray. My good, good buddy from Ronan Rapids. Playing with him since a little boy on up. He's a man of God now, ministering, preaching to the young people. I'm talking about the young people, Arthur Ray. 15 years old, police gunned him down in front of his own house and all he had in his hand was a crowbar. So now his parents are hollering and crying. Now it's, now it's all over the place because they're saying, why didn't you tase him? You didn't have to shoot my boy. You didn't have to kill my 15 year old boy. Why didn't you just shoot him with a taser? All he had was a crowbar and he was out of his mind. Come on Terrence. Oh, Teresa Lassiter, Ronan Rapids, now Kakalaka. Now, so they killed the boy. Now, 
I got upset with the news report. I even tweeted it out now. I did tweet this thing out. I got upset with uh, with Channel 4 News, locally in D.C., whatever they are, WMAL, that's what it was. The guy that reported is the police killed, shot a fifth. The 15 year old man will not obey the police. The 15 year old man, the 15 year old man took a step towards the police and the police shot a 15 year old man. So I tweeted out, I tweeted to the television station, your reporter, and I named him, your reporter, I don't know his name, but whatever I put on there, your reporter sounded like an idiot calling that 15 year old a 15 year old man. Yeah, I know 15 year old men, but I know what he was doing. He was sensationalizing. That's what he was doing, sensationalizing and trying to help the police out. No, he was a 15 year old kid. And I said, you sound like an idiot calling him a 15 year old man. So anyway, they killed him. You got me? Fire to all bad police officers all over the world. Marita, I tell you, that's why I love you, Sister Marita. Yeah, we're going all over the world with bad police officers. Now, like I said, this is not a color thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about where Satan has infiltrated. If he has infiltrated the police officers, we have a problem. Uh, they said on the news today that, that there is a site, some organization that traced all police killings all over America. And 20% of all the killings in this country a year, they're shot unarmed. Or they either just have a, I'm sorry, with no gun. They're either unarmed, Cynthia Powell. Come on up in here from South Carolina. Wheels on. They either have nothing in their hand or a knife or a club. No gun. 20% and they're dead. So they're wondering, can the police do something besides kill them? Is there any other way to subdue them rather than kill them and they're unarmed? Well, they said some of the police officers are, are over aggressive because they are fearful for their lives. They're fearful. Then this cop tried to explain on TV this morning how how a person can do some serious damage with a club. And if he's coming towards you, well, let's, let's send fire to shut down bad police officers all over the world. Let's shut down ag overly aggressive police officers. Let's shut down killer police officers. The ones who... There are a lot of good police officers. Thank God for the police. Thank God for the police. My God. What would happen without the police? But we don't want bad police. We want, we want, listen, God just put something in my spirit just that quick. The bad police officers, they have the same spirit on them as the bad Roman soldiers when Jesus walked the earth. It's the same spirit. The same spirit that was with the Roman soldiers who were the police that day's police were the Roman soldiers. Pharaoh's soldiers, they were the police. And many of them were bad. Many of them were evil. Many of them would beat you and kill you and cut your head off with a sword, stick a sword in you, kill, kill women, kill children. Many of them were bad. You better hear me. Well, the same demon that was with them are the same demon in today on today's police force. We just got more rules than they had then. But there are some bad police officers. When policemen are supposed to wear a camera and then a young kid is shot and killed by them and no one had a camera on, we're going to send fire so that they won't purposely cut their cameras off. And we will send fire that they, they will be uncovered and revealed to the authority so they can be fired. We can weed the bad police officers out. Are y'all ready? So that's what we're going to do first. Weed out bad police officers. Uncover bad police officers. Fire, arrest, get rid of them. 
and help the ones that send fire to help the police officers, Donald Marvelous, come on up here, Facebook, to do their job and to do it well. And we also will send fire to protect the police officers. We also will send fire to protect the people. Because let me tell you something right now. There are many that could have been shot with a taser and not a, a bullet. And they'll still be here. They have the power to, to, to take your freedom. Police officers have the power to take your freedom temporarily or permanently. They have the power to take your life. But some of them are taking a life unnecessarily. Taking it out of a violent mentality. Out of a murderous spirit. Come on, Marilyn Sykes. So, police should wear a camera and be on for all. That's right. The camera should be on all their shifts. Do you know that someone was just shot down the other... Hold on. Excuse me for a minute. The 15 year old boy that I just talked about that was shot in Hay Market. The, the cops should be more smart and possess non lethal weapons. Nah, nah, they have to have a gun. There's some dangerous felons out here with guns. But anyway, we want them to use the guns the proper way. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. There are police officers who, who have made up in their mind. It's them or us. Wrong mentality. So we got to send fire to clear their minds so that they'll want to, to serve and protect the world. Y'all ready? This is for police officers all over the world. Ela baba ba, ela babo ko se la babo sha, ela babo sha. Isaiah ten seventeen, and the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it shall burn and devour his thorns. We gotta burn the 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 police thorns out, and his briars and the briars in one day. He said, I'm gonna burn the thorns and the briars out in one day. So we're going to send the fire of God to burn the thorns among police officers and the briars to get them out of the way so that what will be left? My God, the right garden of police. The right vineyard. Fire of God on all police officers right now. Fire of God to arrest. Fire of God to uncover bad police officers. Fire of God to reveal them to the authorities. Fire of God. Fire of God against lying police officers. Lying, no more lying. You, you cannot do something and then lie on the person that you did it to. Fire of God to destroy all lies in the police department. No lies, uh, no, no false charges in the name of Jesus. No false planning evidence. Fire of God to burn that. That's Roman soldier stuff. When the Roman soldiers kicked in Jewish doors, when the Roman soldiers came to arrest those that followed Jesus, when the Roman soldiers came to arrest Jesus, when the Roman soldiers, my God, came, they were the police. And that same demon today, we burn that demon up right now by the power of God. I'm going to say it again. Isaiah 10, 17. I'm going to repeat it. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire. And the light of America. And the light for every, every country in the world shall be for a fire. And his holy one, Jesus. Jesus. For a what? A flame. Whoa, oh, here come the flame of fire on all the police officers. And it shall burn. Burn, burn among the police officers. Burn, and it shall burn and devour. It shall burn and devour. It shall burn and devour his thorns. My God, my God. And his briars in one day. Today is that day. One day. Fire among all police officers that are afraid of the people. Fire of them that act out of fear. Fire of God. Fire of God to burn out all murdering voices out of their ear hole. All shoot first and talk later spirits. 
shoot first and ask questions later of spirits. Fire of God to come against them to stop profiling people. No more profiling human beings. Every human being, every color, my, my God, all status, my, my, every creed, every tongue shall be treated equal by the police officer. All they see is a person in need. All they see is a person to serve. All they see is a person to help. They don't see nothing else. All they see, if they come to take care of business, fire on them, they will not see anything but the person who is the felon, the person who is committing the crime, committing the, the, the violence, committing, com mm, committing the criminal act. Whatever they are doing, let them see a person. If the person is unarmed, let that police officer by fire begin to think of another way to disarm that person because it's not a gun. It's either a knife or a club, like the boy with the crowbar, whatever is in their hand. Father, let them use other ways to stop them other than the gun first. No more shoot first mentality among the police officers in the name of Jesus. We send the fire of God on to cleanse the police officers all over the world. Cleanse their mind. Cleanse their heart by fire. Cleanse their spirit by fire. Their spirit by fire. Some got the wrong spirit. Some got the spirit of the enemy in them. There are a lot of police officers that don't know Jesus. There are a lot of police officers that don't go to church. There are a lot of police officers that are addicted to alcohol. There are a lot of police officers that are angry. There are a lot of police officers with, with revenge. There are a lot of vengeful police officers. But in the name of Jesus, fire to purge every last one of the ones I just named. All those spirits that are in police officers other than Jesus, I'm going to release Isaiah 37, 19 right now. You better hear this. Let, the, let them to have ears. Hear what the Lord, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Come on now. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in Isaiah 37, 19. And have cast their gods into the fire. Woo. Woo. Every police officer with the wrong God. Many of them that shooting got the wrong God. They shooting first. Many of them that are overly aggressive. Many of them that's profiling people. Many of them that are racist to any color other than theirs. I don't care who you are. I don't care what color the cop is. If you racist to everybody but your color, uh-uh. And you ain't going to church. You don't have no relationship with the Lord. Oh, you're going to be a bad cop in one way or another and have cast their gods into the fire for they were no gods. Oh, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands. Every policeman with a gun in his hand, every policeman put his gun out. Let Jesus be his God. Let God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be his God. Woo! So innocent people don't have to die. People that got mental problems don't have to die in the name of Jesus. Woo! They, uh, uh, but the work of men's hands, my God, wood and stone God. Therefore, they have destroyed them. They would destroy a policeman's life if they got the wrong God. How about we send fire to the policeman to get saved, sanctified? Filled with the Holy Ghost, blood water. That's right. That's right. There can be some sanctified cops. There can be some sanctified, holy, blood, wash, tongue, talking, Holy Ghost, fire cops. I want to sanctify. I want sanctified cops. I want sanctified police officers. I want, I want police officers out there stopping crime and guess what? Praying in tongues before they get out the car. I want them patrolling your neighborhood in tongues. Let me tell you something right now. There was a gang activity in a neighborhood. Serious gang activity. Big time selling drugs, shooting, drive-bys, killings, drug deals, drug wars, whatever. And a preacher, a preacher began to get up early in the morning like Jesus. He began to get, he got up early in the morning. At 6 a.m. in the morning when all the drug dealers were asleep. 6 a.m. in the morning when all the gang bangers were in there still in their bed. Sleeping because they'd been up all night. 6 a.m. with the block cleared. He walked through his neighborhood 
in tongues only. True story. In tongues only. Every day, 6 a.m., he walked his neighborhood, 6 a.m., in tongues, praying in tongues only. The devil hate tongues. He can't understand what you're saying. Why? Because the Holy Ghost on the inside of you is, uh, mm, is giving you the unction. So the Holy Ghost is using your tongue to speak it in the atmosphere. And when you speak, the Holy Ghost takes your tongue and takes it to Jesus, into the ear hole of Jesus, which he puts in the ear hole of the Father. And then the Father tells Jesus, send back this blessing, send back this deliverance, send back this healing, send this battle, send this angel, send what is needed. And then he sent it to the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost releases it. He needs somebody to use. He needs you. So you better stop speaking in tongues. If you're not speaking in tongues, my, my, I'm going to lay hands on you right where you are. In the name of Jesus, receive you the Holy Ghost. Receive you the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues, as Spirit give you utterance right now, open your mouth. Stop making a noise with your mouth. Just stop making noise with your own mouth. And, and while you're doing it in earnest, the God will change your tongue to real tongue. Just open your mouth loud. Uh-uh. No, but you can't do it like this. Open your mouth. Allah, God, 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 God. Just open your mouth. Talk like a baby. Use a foreign language. Fake a foreign language for a minute. At first, it's you. But that's why it's going to be God. I baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So I want cops in tongues. I want them at the... At the, at the headquarters, holding hands, praying in tongues. I want cops quoting scriptures over neighborhoods. It can be done. We call those things to be not as though they were. We have the authority and power to do it. He put fire on our tongues, fire on our bones. In your neighborhood. In every neighborhood in the world, that the fire burning on every police in every police vehicle right now. They can't drive through your neighborhood with the same mentality. They can't drive through your neighborhood. Let me tell you something right now. I once saw a documentary. It just came to me some years ago. And when the policemen drove up into your neighborhood, they would see certain certain knuckleheads on the block, certain Certain knuckleheads that they knew that they were up to something and know what they did. I mean, they would take their finger without them seeing it, but but in a police car. <laughs> Meaning, I'm going to get you one day. No more of that in the name of Jesus. Come on, Bishop Eddie Hightower. We're sending fire to weed out all uncleanness in the, among the police force. Fire, weed out by fire. Change the mindset, change everything about the policemen, that they will be the ones that honor and serve, that they will assist. No more murdering spirits and police officers. No more false gods, false religion. Let me tell you something right now. There are some police officers like any other human being with generational curses in their bloodline. You don't know what their bloodline is like. It could be some murderers in their bloodline who weren't police officers, but the same spirit is on him. And he and he's legally, he legally can kill somebody. No more. In the name of Jesus, I bind up all shooting, murdering spirits in the bloodline of every police officer in the world. Fire your God. And I release fire for more love, more respect. Fire for more love, more respect among the policemen for the neighborhood, for the people. Oh my, more, come on, come on y'all, here it is, Woo. here it is, fire to bless cops, fire to bless police officers, to be the best police officer that they can be. The best police officers that they can be. Fire of God to all police officers with murderous intentions. Fire on them. Their intentions now change. They have different intentions now. I don't care who they were, who they are. They're going on a force different now. And they and they realize they're feeling a little different right now. Every police is feeling something right now. Ooh, they're twitching right now. Ooh, ooh. They can't believe what they're feeling right now. Some, some of them are wondering what's going on with me right now. I feel different right now. 
uh, fire <laughs> in Jesus' name. Ooh, some of them say, you know what? Uh, I feel like there's something that's lifting me right now. Fire! My God, the police officer said, I feel like, you know what? I feel like I gotta come, I gotta come clean with some stuff. I gotta come clean, I gotta, I gotta confess some stuff. I gotta confess some stuff to my, um, my, my, my authority in the police force, to my heads. I gotta confess some things. I'm not gonna do them anymore. Lord God, forgive me. I want every police officer right now that's been doing some bad things, I want them to confess their sins and repent of what they've done bad on their job. Planted evidence, lied on the witness stand, killed without the camera on, and lied about the situation, planted guns. They believe that cop planted a gun in St. Louis, Missouri. They believe he planted a gun. We don't know. He said he didn't. But look at the mentality. They have the tape. In the high speed chase. In the chase now. While he's chasing this guy, he didn't kill anybody. He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't point a gun at the police officer. He was running from a drug deal. He had made a drug transaction in the parking lot, they said. So he was driving off. While they were chasing him, they had to film. And know what he said? He said, I'm going to kill that MF. You see what I'm talking about? The police had already made up his mind before he even caught the guy. I'm going to kill that MF. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see what I'm talking about? That was intent to kill. That goes to the intentions you just said, Marita. So for all the bad intentions, don't we we send fire to, to kill those bad intentions right now. That they get angry with the criminal and want to kill him. They get angry with him. They show police officers on TV run up with a man on the ground and kick him in the head, kick him in his chest, stomp his back. Why? He was already down. He was already submitting and you had to kick him. Just saw that the other day. Fire of God for the bad intentions. Fire of God to help the police not to be violent. Not to be a defenseless, handcuffed, or submitted human being. Not to kick him and beat him in the name of Jesus. Fire to kill all bad intentions. There it is, Sister Marilla, and police officers with Periscope. Now, fire. I saw a film on face on uh, social media where they had a woman handcuffed and they had to rough up her two sons who was concerned about their mama. And they were body and they body slammed mama. And mama had mama was dealing with cancer. And they body slammed mama with handcuffs on. Come on. It can be handled better than that. I noticed something too. I saw this in London. In London. London. Same thing. I said we sending it to all the police around the world. In London, the police officer was talking to some teenagers on the football, on the soccer field in front of their school because they had arrested one of the uh, people. But guess what they did? Here come one cop. Everything was fine till one cop showed up. He comes up, walks right up, and boom, slams a kid in the chest. All the kid was doing was talking to the cop. Slams it, get away from him, and slam, and all hell broke out. And, number, and before you know it, they were body slamming females. High school female, body slamming guys, beating them. It was crazy. So this is for police officers all around the world. It didn't have to be that way. That cop, you don't walk up on people and immediately get physical and you just got dead. And nobody has a weapon. They still have backpacks on. They were in front of their school. So, you, so do you get this? Do you understand what we're doing here today? All over the world to clean up police officers. The same unclean spirit that was in the Roman soldiers in Israel, Jerusalem, Rome. All of the Israelites under the policing of the Roman soldiers 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, caught hell from those police officers. The Roman soldiers had spirits in them. Many of the spirits we're calling out today 
to call out of our police forces now. Many other Roman soldiers had those spirits and more. But uh-uh. And guess what? That same demon has gone from the Roman soldiers to today's officers. Those spirits, I say the police officers are anointed. And God give them great deliverance from those spirits by fire. We beat down every spirit that got a police officer who's not, who, how long? Hold on. How about this? Everyone don't have the mentality to be a cop, even though they are a cop. Some people just want to be a cop just to be a cop. Some people just want to be empowered. Some people had a bad childhood. Some people were bullied in school and they want to do the bullying now. So they, be, they said the uniform. So they want the uniform so they can bully back now to pay people back. I told you they have a revenge, avenging spirit. So every cop that has the wrong spirit, I'm not talking about beat the cop now. I'm talking about beat the spirit. So we're going to pursue these enemies and overtake them on behalf of the cops. And we're not going to turn until those enemies in those cops are consumed. Fire on them right now. We tread upon the lion and the adder in the police officer and the dragon and we trample them upon foot in the spirit realm by fire my god my god we tread upon serpents and scorpions and my god and over the power of all of the enemy and nothing by any mean shall hurt those police officers and, and you know what i mean by hurt hurt them even, uh on the inside bad hearts bad minds bad emotions bad intentions bad thinking Fire on the new police officers, that, on the ones, on the cadets. Fire on the cadets so that the new police officer will come in with fresh fire. Woo, there it is. Fresh fire for them. The new police officer, they're not police officers, they're not officially, they have not been sworn in yet, but they will be. They are cadets. Hold on. You got a lot of police officers that did military duty. Why did I bring that up? I didn't bring it up. The Holy Ghost brought it up. I know why he brought it up. He brought it up because many, many in military, male and female, are going through traumatic experiences. And what is it? PTS? Post-traumatic syndrome? Disturbance or whatever it is? And many of them come out and they're not themselves. They're not the same people that went in. Some come out of the military and they didn't come out the way they went in. Some of them come out, oh, oh my God, with some frailties, with some issues, with some new issues, with some new mental problems, with some new stuff. Some try to hide it. Some don't. They just kill themselves. But you got some police officers, if they have not been tested, if they have not been dealt with, they come out and they get on the police force and they still carry those same spirits from Iraq. From Desert Storm. Come on, y'all. They still carrying it from the Middle East. In the name of Jesus. We send fire to burn out everything that they bought with them from the, from the military. That's not of God. Fire to burn out right now. Fire. Fire to set them free. Fire to set them free. Fire. <laughs> the UN we'll deal with the UN later <laughs> right now I'm dealing with the police officer <laughs> hallelujah there's a lot of things to deal with believe me worldwide the UN is one of them <laughs> but fire for those in the military to burn out everything that they caught over on foreign territory foreign land and came back with that thing Fire your God for everything they saw. Do you know that a lot of these police officers, they, that are police officers, they were in the military, they saw some sights that can haunt them for the rest of their life. They saw some murder and mayhem. They saw their best friends and buddies bleeding with their brains blown off with hand grenades and stuff. And now you're a cop. Now you're a cop. Fire of God to help you right now in the name of Jesus with PTS. Fire on the cadets. Purify the cadets before they get there. 
fire to purify them before they become real police officers. Fire that they won't make the same mistakes as bad cops. Fire on the, on the cadets that cleanse them now. That they want to be good cops, excellent cops. Fire to save those cops. My wow, God, we arise and we stress and beat in pieces all the enemies of the cops in the spirit realm. I said spirits now. Come on, y'all. This ain't no natural battle. I'm not talking about the criminal. I'm not talking about human beings. I'm dealing with cops with the spirits that got them doing what they're doing. We're spiritual warriors. Our weapons, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't have a gun. We don't have a crowbar. They're not carnal, but they are mighty through who? God. I got about three minutes and then I'm gone. Fire our God to clean all cadets before they're police officers. We'll see they're in agreement. See, Sister Maria, see, they're, see they're in agreement. In agreement. Come on, Romo. See, they're in agreement. Come on, John. In agreement. If two people agree on anything in the earth and in his name ask the Father, he said, I will do it. So everything we're agreeing on about the police officer, guess what? He said, I. Read John 14, 14. When you finish with this scope, read John 14, 14. I release it right now. I will do it. So he's doing this for the police officers all over the world. Cleansing right now. There will be no more bad shootings in the police officers. There will be no more killings. There will be no more intention and evil intentions by police officers. No more after today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch the police officers. Listen to me. You know how they have uh, you to they take some type of vote. They want to see the percentage of who who believe in the police officers, who don't, and, and who think they're this, who think they're that. Watch how they increase on the positive side. Watch when watch what happens after today. Watch the news. Watch the rating. Watch their rating go up. How people say there's been a change among the police officers. There's a change in Baltimore. Six cops. Just got let off the hook in Baltimore last week. They refused to charge one of them for Freddie Brown. Not one. We're sorry on what happened to Freddie Brown. But this is what we're doing today. We'll make sure that there won't be any more Freddie Browns. There won't be any more six cops on, on trial for a bad shooting. Those days are over. Those days are over. Oh, I love you too, Pastor King. We are kings. We are kings. We are. We are royal priesthood. That's why we do what we do. Fire our God to cleanse police officers of all bad intentions. There it is again. You keep putting it up there, Maretta. We are kings. And we are also royal priests unto the Father. We are royal priesthood. That's who we are. Know who we are. Yeah, because guess what? When people are trying to harm the cops, that's right. You got people out there who want to harm the police officers. They're mad at cops and they want to ambush and shoot police officers. But then I say we send fire to protect the officers right now. Fire protection around all police officers. They cannot be ambushed. They cannot be sh somebody. Oh, God, God. You know, God just remind me of stuff just like this. It's downloaded like a computer into me. The Holy Ghost. Then last year, a female cop in New York just sitting in the patrol car. That's all she was doing was sitting. A woman cop, woman policeman was sitting in the car. That's all she was doing. And a demon had a man to walk up to the car and blow her brains out. They said she was saved. I believe it. She didn't say nothing to him. She didn't do nothing to him. He ambushed her and killed her. Fire to protect all our police officers. Our police officers cannot be ambushed anymore around the world. Fire to protect them. Fire to overcome bad intentions against police officers. Fire against all them that, that plan on murdering police officers. And another thing. What's this new demon? What's this new demon? Remember I told you the 15-year-old boy? The one that the police just shot with a crowbar in front of his own house and his mom and them saying they should have shot him with a taser or something. But guess what? 
When he called the police, now I told you in the beginning of this scope that he said, come and kill me. Send the police to kill me. Now, what is this new thing? Because a boy over here in Palmer Park, Maryland, Palmer Park, Maryland, he went to, and I've been to that police station. I've been to that Palmer Park station before. I went over there. But guess what? He had his brothers to film him. To film him with their phone. And what is this new thing? And he came to the Palmer Park station while they're filming him and start shooting their cops. Why? Because he wanted to die. Suicide by cop. That's a new demon. Suicide by cop. You got people trying to die on purpose by being shot up by a cop. What kind of devil is that? Do you hear me? They're actually calling the police to kill them. Oh, Gary. Thank you, Gary, for the compliment. God bless you. Jesus loves you, Gary. I love you too, Gary. Now, what is that? When, when um, you want the police to kill you on purpose. That's a demon in their mind. So we send fire of God to be no more suicide by cops. Oh, I'm getting ready to go off now. I'm getting ready to go now. Fire, fire, fire of God to destroy and root out that demon of suicide by police officers. Fire of God to kill that demon now. He would not show his ugly face again. Do you hear me? He would not. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. We'll, I have wounded them and they are not able to rise. They have fallen under my feet. That's in the word. That's in the, that's in the word. That's in the word. That's in the word of God. By fire, there will be no more suicide by police officers. You are so awesome. You can wave your hand and stop hate. <laughs> Gary, you are awesome too. Gary, come on here every morning with us as we fight between 8 and 9, Monday through Friday. And by far, thank you, man. Oh, I love you. I use the Holy Spirit. I'm always high off the Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, Gary. Gary, God bless this man of God. Man, you saved and I love you. So I'm getting ready to go now. I love y'all by far. The police officers are healed, delivered, set free. The police officers are ready now to serve and protect. The police officers, their mind are clear, hearts clear, and most clear. Why? By Holy Ghost fire. They're saved now. Many of them will go to church. Many of them will read their Bible. I baptize all. Hold on. Lord, baptize every officer with fire and the Holy Ghost. Baptize every police officer with fire and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Oh, that was fun. Wasn't that fun, y'all? Oh, that was real fun. All the police officers are now free. Uh, so we're in love on the cops now because they're going to love on us. I love y'all. God bless y'all.